knows what a hummus, muttabal or baba ganoush is, but a muttabal kusa is the lesser known but very delicious dip. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today on Craving Spirit Adventures, we're making muttabal kusa. Earlier I made some kusa mashi or stuffed zucchini and I had to hollow out the zucchini. I took the insides of the zucchini and turned it into this delicious dip. If you watched my earlier video, you'll know that I learned these recipes by spending some time with Syrian families at the Newcomer Kitchen. The Depreneur in Toronto opens their doors every week to these incredible women where they prepare meals and sell them to the general public. I had the opportunity of spending time with these women and learning some of these incredible recipes. What I like is that they are so resourceful, they will take ingredients and they don't waste anything. This recipe is a perfect example of that. Once they prepared the stuffed zucchini, the insides of the zucchini don't get thrown away. Instead, they fry it up with garlic and turn it into a delicious dip. Let's get started. When I hollowed out my zucchinis, I yielded about two cups of zucchini pulp. I'm going to use one cup in this recipe. The first thing I'm going to do is just chop it down further and then I'm going to put it into a sieve and I'm going to try and squeeze all of the excess water out of the zucchini. When I learned this recipe in the newcomer kitchen, they added raw garlic to the mixture. I prefer to cook my garlic just a little bit. I think it adds a really, really good flavor. They also fried the zucchini in a lot of oil and then they drained it. I prefer to fry it in just a little bit oil and cook it a little bit longer until it caramelizes. You can add a little bit of salt to the zucchini and that's going to help it caramelize a lot faster. Once it's ready to go, I'm just going to take it off the heat and keep it aside. In a bowl, I'm going to add half a cup of beaten yogurt together with half a cup of tahini. I'm also going to add the juice of half a lemon, a quarter teaspoon of sumac and salt and pepper to taste. Fold in the zucchini and it's ready to be garnished. I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I'm gonna garnish it with some sumac, some pomegranate seeds and some chopped parsley. I love the addition of pomegranate seeds in this recipe. It gives it such a delicious sweet pop. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I enjoyed spending a lot of time with the women in the newcomer kitchen, learning all of their new recipes and I'm so glad to bring it home and bring it to you. Make sure you click on the recipe for the kusa mashi. This is a stuffed zucchini that's stuffed with meat and rice and it's really, really delicious. As well as you can click here for the scenes from the Newcomer Kitchen. This is all the background footage that I took when I spent time there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Make sure that you're subscribed and follow me on all my social channels on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Until I see you again, do take care.